So if your guys' bed is looking like this, because you didn't spend the extra money for that $500 option, this is what I'm gonna try out. Raptor liner, it was like 90 bucks on Amazon. I'm gonna let you guys know if it's any good. So to start, we're gonna remove the tailgate access panels. Next up, we gotta scuff the entire bed so the bed liner sticks. Uh, they do give you two um, sanding pads uh, with the kit. So they seem to work pretty good. Uh, I started a little bit on the tailgate, as you might have noticed. Uh, I'm also going to be using a Scotch Bright pad. So it's like 105 out today, so I pulled the truck out into the sun because I just uh, sprayed with Simple Green and wiped down to get all that dust and stuff off of the bed. So that's gonna dry really quick. Then we're gonna bring the truck back into the shop, tape everything off, uh, mix up the bed liner and start applying it. We got everything prepped. We're ready to roll on the bed liner. Comes with this like uh, sand like stuff for uh, providing like some texture to it. We're gonna be doing this on the second coat. So the first coat, we're just gonna lay down a good base and the second coat, we'll get the, the nice texture on it. Right, guys so it's been about three and a half hours total time from sanding taping to uh, laying on the Raptor liner now uh, just so you guys know the rollers that come with the kit absolutely suck so I brushed most of it on and then I came back and I tried to use the roller just for the texture but if you add in the sand it gives you the sort of the, well, at least for me, the texture that I wanted. So I wasn't too worried about the roller thing, but just keep that in mind. Maybe pick up some different rollers. The product seems good so far. And I, uh, my first bottle didn't quite get me the whole thing, but I think I was laying it on just a little thick to start. So I think you gotta do a thin coat and then you come back and top it off. So I think it was a little bit error on my part. Plus I kind of wish they had a little bit more product in there, but so far, my initial impressions are positive. We're gonna let this thing cure for a while, come back, put everything back together. Um, I'll let you guys know what I think. gonna do it for this one that was the install of the Raptor liner roll-on kit now if I had to do it again and give you guys some advice I would probably avoid the roll-on version and push for a spray-on version for a couple reasons first off the provided rollers so if you are gonna roll it the provided rollers literally are they just disintegrated like pretty quick um, and this is what helps give it that texture so piece of crap honestly as far as the rollers go the product seems pretty good but then I ended up having to brush most of it on and I'm actually really happy with how it ended up looking but just one of those things where it just would have helped a little bit and for coverage I think it would have been better to do the spray on version also if it's 110 outside probably wait to do it a different day the good news is, is it cured really quick but it's so hot today I picked the worst day in the world to do it we're at like the beginning of a massive heat wave here in california so i'm sweating up a storm here um, but anyways if you have any sort of surface a truck bed or the back of your jeep that you're looking 
to bedline. If you got a gladiator like me and you didn't want to pay $500 to get it bedlined, my initial thoughts are that this Raptor liner is going to hold up just fine. It seems really good. However, only time will tell. So make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button because I, as time goes on, I will let you guys know how this is holding up long term. But initial reviews seem pretty positive so far. For 90 bucks, I was able to do the whole gladiator, the five foot bed with the tailgate. It was a little thin. I wasn't able to do it quite as thick as I would have liked, but I did only spend $90 on this. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, it's not a $500 bed lining kit. So if I have to touch it up or, you know, or if you really want to lay it on thick and you order two kits and you spend 180, I mean, man, that, that could be a pretty good option as well. So I uh, just wanted to keep you guys informed on, on what's out there. You don't have to pay uh, Jeep to do the factory bed liner or, you know, $500 to get it uh, professionally done. So just keep that in mind. Uh, also, if you'd like to support the channel, uh, I have some links down below. I have an Amazon page, which you can support the channel at no additional cost to you. And there's also a Patreon page where if you want to support me, there's several tiers uh, that you can do. And if you do the third tier, which is the giveaway tier, I'm going to be doing monthly giveaways. 